Big Bassmaster One. Um, today, I'm just gonna talk to you about real oiling a baitcaster and maintaining it. Um, cause a lot of you guys spend a lot of money on these reels and you want to keep them nice. Basically, you want to oil them, you want to keep them clean, you want to keep them working like you, how you bought them. Okay. Um, and this will actually just prolong your reels tremendously too. Okay. Um, this is my, I'm just going to use, show you on my Fluger Patriarch. This is a right handed model. Six, this doesn't really matter. I'm just telling you what it is. Um, I'm using Abby Garcia Real Oil. You can get it for like three bucks. Um, and 70% isofluoric alcohol. Um, and I've actually like to use a lower percent alcohol. I just think it's easier on the reel. Um, but I don't think it matters that much. I just use a lower one. The alcohol basically is going to um, extract all the dirt and grime and grit and all that stuff that you don't want in your bait caster. This is going to lubricate it and keep all that stuff working really nice. And you need some cotton swabs. That's going to be getting into those hard to reach areas. Um, so you can get all that hard to reach area, all that grit and grime. Alright, and then you just want to have a rag, separate rag. And let's get into the bait caster, okay? Alright, I'm into my bait caster now. All I did, most of them have a button on the side of this, or just some sort of bar, the instructions will tell you, just to access and get this side panel off. Okay, all I did was this one just has a little screw that you unscrew, that'll pop out, you hear a click. Um, or some of them, like Shimano's, have this one, this little dial right here. You can pop it out and that'll hear a click, but. The instruction will tell you how to get that side pan off. Okay, so I just took the spool out, got the side pan off, and this is just the uh, casing of the body. Okay, all right. The first thing you want to do, um, I've already oiled this one um, a couple days ago, so I'm not going to actually oil it, but I'm going to show you what to do. Okay, take your first, take your rag, and you want to dab some isoporic alcohol on that. And then just start wiping down everything on the reel. You just want to wipe down every little part. You want to wipe down all in there. You can wipe that. It's not going to hurt anything. You want to wipe down all those little um, tabs right there. Those are your cast control. Is it? Apply friction to your spool depending on how far you cast. Um, but I got, I mean, it depends. You can always change them. I got two out and the rest are in. Could probably get onto one, um, but two is just a good safety. Um, but if you're a beginner, I'd recommend you have all of them in or a couple out. Um, just depend on how far, how good you are. Okay. Um, then you can wipe down all all that shaft right there because that shaft gets really dirty. And just wipe down wipe down all in there. You can even put some on a Q-tip and get down in there um then you want to wipe down all that wipe down all of in the inside that real casing especially that line drew tree guy all those bars in there that it goes back and forth on um and then just wipe down the outer casing on the body get all of that get all of that in there and then you'll be good okay then after you got all that wiped down it'll you don't even need to dry it'll dry itself alcohol dries quick okay then this is important on the oil. Um, if you put too much oil, you can put too much oil on. If you put too much oil on, you're going to feel your reel getting slow. It's going to be less smooth, and you basically ruin your reel. Um, and it's hard to get all that out there. you got to get it out with high soap, fluoric alcohol, and it still is not going to perform. It's, it's never going to be the same, basically. Okay. Um, all right. Just put a tiny little drop on, on that tip of that cotton swab. Now the first thing you want to do, don't put any oil on the shaft right here. If you do, wipe it off with alcohol. Okay, you want to get down all in there, right around there, all in there and just wipe all around. Okay, then you take this and put it right inside that little 
bearing right there that's right it's a little it's like a little circle right on the shaft right there okay then that's done and then you flip it over and all those little cast control friction tabs you want to take your another cotton swab put some oil on it just a tad bit just get all those little tabs right there and don't get any on that center um, shaft right there okay then you take your side panel you're done with that spool take your side panel in the middle you want to put just put a tiny bit of oil right in that middle thing right there a little middle bearing all right then you take your cotton swab or a toothpick um, I use cotton swabs put a little bit of oil in there and this lip right here just go all around with the oil all around and then you can get all those little magnets right there and just get all around in there okay so all around in this whole thing basically and make sure you get on that lip right there all right next thing you want to do see that little see that little it's a little pending gear thing it's right in the center it's gold that when you move your handle that thing spins which spins the spool which chaos and makes you retrieve um, you just want to take put a little bit of oil on there and dab it right right in the middle right there just dab around and circle it dab around all right next thing you want to do take this little um, cash control knob off okay take that off um, and you can actually put isofluoric alcohol right in that little tab too just dab it on the q-tip and just rub it around um, okay then you take I just like to put a little bit of isofluoric alcohol on the q-tip and then dab it all around that it's like a little it's all around that part right there then put some oil on your q-tip and right in the circle right there you put just a little bit of oil on there. Alright, and now that'll be ready. You'll be done. Um, and, then, and, and then if you want to, you can also put some oil and isofluoric alcohol. This is very important because this line bar and this worm gear right here and that line retrieve guide, that gets extremely dirty because that's the first thing that your dirty line touches. So you want to get isofluoric alcohol on your um, Q-tip and just get dab it all around in there and you get a lot of dirt out of there okay and then you can put some oil in that worm gear right there and after that you're ready to go fishing guys thank you please rate comment and subscribe um hope this video helped um and i got all these instructions from fluger so um this is right this is how you do it um and then once you i, I do it this every year you have to take the whole thing apart and oil and grease it and everything but i'll get into that that's a whole different video so i hope this video helped please rate comment subscribe and hopefully i'll see you around youtube thank you